Welcome back to another Monday Motivation. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Monday Motivation. I know that's at the start now, so you can get twice the welcome backs. But uh, here we are. I, I want to talk to you today about I promise. And not I'm talking about normal promises here. I'm talking about one specific promise, which is your brand promise. And if there's one thing we've realized over the last little while is that, man, there's a lot of companies out there. There's a lot of individuals out there that have no idea what their brand promise is. And that's what I really want to share with you today in this Monday Motivation, because it's a way for us to stand out. It's a way for us to hold accountability. It's a way for us to take responsibility in making sure the client experience that we give is better than the client's expectations. Now, the reason why we don't often know that and we're guessing and we hope the experience is better than their expectations is because we're guessing and the fact that we don't even know ourselves. So there's three key things I want you to think about. One, do you know it? Do you know your own brand promise? What do you stand for? What does your company stand for? What does your brand stand for? Do you yourselves know it and are able to articulate it easily? Whether that's marketing in a sales conversation on the phone, internal with a leadership meeting, with a shareholder, with an investor, the whole lot. The second one is, does your entire company know it? Does your entire company know your brand promise? Right from the top to the bottom, bottom to the top, left to right, the whole lot, does your entire company know your brand promise? And most importantly, do your clients know it? Now, in our experience and even our, ourselves, we're going through a big rebrand at the moment. It's all very exciting, but even the com- companies that we work with and you as clients, most of the time we don't know those three questions. We don't know the brand promise ourselves, our clients don't know our brand promise in our entire company. And you might be asking, well, Steve, how do we start? How do we work that out? Well, you need to start you know, whiteboarding, journaling, documenting, what makes you unique? What makes your company unique? What gives you an unfair advantage that you can leverage to do more marketing, to do more sales, to do more face-to-face conversations? Because when you have your brand promise, now you have something external to live up to. It's similar to the values, but I want you to think about that. As we close out this month, we go into end of financial year, be really certain on those things. And what you'll find is something tweaks in a mind and what it'll allow you to do is communicate at a level way deeper than most people. And we're finding at the moment that's what's giving us extra sales than doing the same thing as we've always done. So think about that. That's it. Let's make some promises. Let's make some brand promises. Let's make sure you know your brand promises. Let's make sure your entire company knows the brand promises and let's make sure our clients know our brand promises. And then we just live up to them and repeat business. Here we come. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this Monday motivation. Hope it's got you thinking. Any way we can help you in the meantime, just say the word, shoot a comment down below. You know our contact details and we'll see you on another Monday motivation really soon. Three days to go for the end of the month. Give it everything you got. Cheers.